Anna Marie and thank you for visiting a stitcherahalf.com. Cutwork can add a beautiful new dimension to your embroidery project. Today we will demonstrate the technique of cutwork making your embroidery outstanding. Cutwork designs are available in a variety of shapes and sizes. Start by hooping two layers, water soluble stabilizer as the layer of fabric you'll be using. Embroider the design up until the time the design calls for the cutwork to begin. You'll see a note in the color change sheet about this. Cutwork step 1. This is a fine zigzag. This indicates the area where the fabric will be cut away. Step 2. Cut away the fabric on the inside of the indicated area. Note that we cut away only through the fabric layer and not through the water soluble stabilizer. Cutwork step 3. A zigzag stitch will now secure the edges of this area. Cutwork step 4. A satin stitch will follow which covers the raw edges. After the cutwork has finished, complete the rest of the embroidery design. Some designs have more than one area where cutwork is included. If more than one area is included, just repeat the process. When the embroidery is finished, remove your design from the hoop. And by using a wet Q-tip, add a little bit of water to the inside of the water-soluble stabilizer to remove the water soluble. Cut away any visible threads and your cutwork design is finished. For best results choose designs that are specifically designed for cutwork. These designs include the correct underlay and stitch type to make your cutwork design truly durable and three-dimensional. At a stitcher half we have several embroidery projects specifically created for cutwork. Simply type the word cutwork in the search block. Do you have any questions about cutwork? Then click on the contact us toward the top of the web page. Thank you for watching today and thank you for visiting a stitchahalf.com.